Section 15.3, we're continuing uh, higher order partial derivatives. And so for z equal to f of x and y, partial derivatives, uh, f sub x and y, uh, f sub x of x and y, and um, f sub y of x and y are again functions of x and y. And uh, the derivatives as the in single variable function uh, calculus, the derivatives were functions of x and y. The partial uh, derivative of these functions are second order uh, partial derivatives of f of x and y. So what is happening here is you start with, let's say, you take the derivative of f with respect to x and then if you take the derivative one more time this is a new function with respect to x then you took the second derivative with respect to x um, so that's one way of showing it and the other way is f x x and how about if I take the, and it, when after I took the derivative with respect to x, I take the derivative with respect to y after that. So what happens then? Then the derivative is going to be with respect to y, then with respect to x. So how do I show that with this sub? Um, so that is the the first uh, derivative that you took was with respect to x that should be closest to f and then it was derivative of uh -huh. and then you took the partial with respect to y so uh, basically this notation follows um, the uh, the order as an outer and inner this notation follows as x as uh, the partial that is closest to x. In, in one way, uh, this notation also follows uh, what partial was closest to f. So you took the derivative uh, partial with respect to x first, and so that's the one that should show up uh, underneath f, and then with respect to y. So all partials of, um, all second order partials of f are given in here. Uh, again, you see a partial with respect to twice with respect to x uh, can be also written like that. Partial with respect to y first, then x uh, is going to, is also is written as f sub y and x. And then partial with respect to x first, then y, that's f sub x, y, and partial with respect to um, y twice of f is f sub y, y. Um, the second order partials are very useful in classifying critical points. That's something we did, we see in this chapter. Um, just like in calculus one, we use the um, second derivative test to find uh, find a local max or local min. So stay tuned. Tuned. Um, continuing with the higher order partial derivatives. Partial derivatives look like uh, f sub x x and f sub z z z that involve only one variable are called pure partial derivatives like f um, so partial derivatives like f sub x x and f sub z z z uh, that involve only one variable variable are called pure partial derivatives like f sub x y and f sub x y z that involve more than one variable are called mixed. In general, um, the nth derivative of f 
with respect to um, x1, x, um, x2, all the way to xn, uh, it's a mixed um, partial. And um, for example, partial derivatives like f sub x, x, uh, f sub z, 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 um, that involve one, only one variable are called pure partial derivatives like f sub x, y, and f, uh, f sub x, y, z that involve more than one variable are called mixed. Um, so you can, um, in general, take um, um, multiple and uh, higher order derivatives such that n order derivative of f with respect to x1, x2, all the way xn, uh, or that that would um, also be f sub xn all the way to x1. Um, and And also, um, any of uh, the combination of the notation of, of partial derivative would work uh, for the higher partial derivatives. Uh, nice thing is that um, the order of partial differentiation does not matter uh, for nice functions. Example, example five, compute the first and second order partial derivatives of f of xy equal to x e to the power xy plus y squared minus y times x squared plus one. Um, and so f sub x or partial respect to x is going to be, um, a, a, for this term, it's going to be a product rule derivative of x which is 1 e to the power xy then x times derivative of e to the power xy which um, is basically um, e to the power xy times derivative of xy y is constant so it would be xy e to the power xy uh, over here um, y is constant Derivative of x squared plus 1 is 2x, so it's negative 2xy. Uh, derivative with respect to y of this x uh, function also. x is constant. Derivative of e to the power xy is just e to the power xy times uh, derivative of xy with respect to y, which is x, so it will become x squared e to the power xy. And derivative of 2y becomes, uh, y squared becomes 2y. Derivative of y times x squared plus 1 becomes negative x squared plus 1. Now, if I want to take the second derivative, let's say I want to take the derivative of, uh, sec I want to find f sub x, x. So I take the derivative of f sub x once with respect to x. And in this case, the derivative of e to the power xy becomes uh, y e to the power xy, and xy e to the power xy also uh, gives you um, two terms for uh, um, uh, a product rule, and two terms, and, and so on and so forth. But a nice thing to notice about uh, these derivatives uh, eventually is that f sub x y is the same thing as f of y x, and that is not an accident. Clare's theorem. Clare's theorem says if f of x x f of f sub x y of x and y and f sub y um, x of x and y are continuous, then f sub x y is equal to f sub y x. So if the function is nice enough that the partial, the mixed partials, either way are continuous, then um, the mixed partials are the same. Mixed 
uh, second order partials. And Clare's theorem general case says if all k order partial derivatives of f of x1 all the way to xn are continuous, then the order of differentiation does not matter. So uh, again, partial derivatives, um, partial mixed derivatives, and partial mixed derivatives here too. So this means uh, this actually the hypothesis holds for all elementary functions but you have to be careful with the piecewise defined um, for example if all third order partial derivatives of f of x and y and z are continuous then f sub x y z is equal to f sub x z y uh, equal to f sub y x c and so on and so forth whatever order you get it still works i click a question uh, 15.3 part uh, uh, c calculate f sub x x x for function x squared um, f of x y equal to x squared y to the power 4 minus 3 um, x, x to the power 4, y, uh, and so take, uh, pause your video and think about it and come back. So the first thing is you take the derivative once, and that is 2x, y to the power 4, because y to the power 4 is a constant, minus 12, x to the third y then you take the derivative twice and that's 2y to the power of 4 minus 36 x to the power of 2y then you take the derivative a third times and you can also show it like that. And 4y to the fourth, 2y to the fourth disappears. And what is left is 70, negative 72xy. And that's answer C. I click here, question 15.3d. If all partial derivatives of f of x and y are continuous, then which of the following partial derivatives are equal to f sub x, x, y? So take a break and, uh, and solve and come back. Note by Clare's theorem, uh, uh, if all the partial the mixed partials are continuous, then you can change the order of the taking derivative in any way you want to and you still get the same um, mixed partial but remember um, here we have two x's and one y so you have to look for two and taking derivative twice with respect to x and once with respect to y this one has a uh, twice with respect to y uh, that's out twice with respect to y, twice with respect to y, out, and c has a twice with respect to x and once with respect to y, and d is out because again twice with respect to y, c is the answer.